guys. Um, it's 12, 18, 23, around nine in the morning. Um, I got these words. Change is coming. Be bold in love. Hear me. The Lord God Almighty. The days dwindle before the anointed come. Beware. Church, stand. Be ready to stand firm for all to see. I know how tired you all are. I will sustain just as I have sustained the anointed. The anointed have been the first line of defense against the enemy. They have been in a true war in the spiritual a long time. I have sustained them. I will do the same for you, church. You who serve me will run like lions, even without sleep when needed. You will push on and defy logic. No harm shall befall you, for you will be doing my will, and those that do so will have my protections. Anointed, finish hard to the end. Do not be distracted by men who choose dates. Just stay focused on me and it will all unfold as planned. Change is coming. Focus on me. I will bring consequences to all those without their focus on me. I will protect all with their focus on me. All my church, stay with your eyes on me. Read my words. Pray for the lost, for we will bring in a huge harvest. Now at this point, I was told to tell you of a dream I had a few days ago. And it also has some verses at the end. And then it returns to more words. Okay, so just hang with me through this. So in this dream, I was in heaven and I was sleeping on a huge gigantic bed and my number two, three and four children were with me and hopping around in heaven and in bed and resting and all of that. And I knew when I woke up from the nap that that sleep that I saw in my dream was the Sabbath rest promised to the anointed. Okay, like true rest, which I haven't had in years. I don't even know. My two younger ones have always been in the faithful category. My number two was a prodigal, but now has flipped. And I believe she will be with the first round of anointed as well. Um, my number one isn't going to turn uh, immediately. I know she's in the process. It's coming, but she's just not going to make, I think, the first anointed round. So they were all three with me in this um, rest time. Then we left heaven and we got on a boat and we were going out in the ocean and I fell back asleep in the boat. Just to be clear, the boat represents the ministry of saving the fish. Okay, the fish are the people who are not saved. Okay, so the ocean is all of the people of the earth. And I knew that this was post-war because we've already gone, we come back. So this is post-US War Part 1, okay? And then... um. I actually fell asleep within the dream on the boat, on the boat, I'm asleep and I'm having a dream within a dream, okay? And I woke up. When I woke up from that dream, the boat was deeper and the water was higher and it was eye level. My head was resting on the edge of the boat and I was eye level with the water, which means the boat of ministry was heavier. It had truth or something very heavy in it. And so we were able to be eye to eye with the people, okay? So when I saw that water, it triggered me in the dream to remember that I had a dream. And in the dream, I was excited and told the three girls that were with me um, what the dream had explained to me. When I was in the dream, I, it was explained to me that there was a wind that came across the ocean. The wind is, of course, the Holy Spirit and the ocean is the people, right? And it caused these little hills, which is similar to this picture. But these little hills, they were actually hill shaped, like where you see each of these little ripples. And then I saw the normal peaks, like small waves that are out in the distance that were like this. That was also, except they were also shaped like little hills. They weren't really shaped like little mountains. They were shaped like little hills. Then I told the girls, I said, you see each of these little swells because the water looked identical to that in the dream on the boat. I said, you see each of these little swells that look like little hills. It was explained to me in the dream that these are representing the people that we will save, that the enemy 
does not perceive we will save. So these are all the ones they think are theirs, all these little hills. So imagine this type of rippling in the water surrounded by an ocean as far as you can see. That's how many people we saved or were going to save on this mission that they did not expect. Then I said, you see the ones that look in the picture like peaks, but they're actually hill shaped. That many is how many the enemy thought we would save. I also told them that it was explained to me in that dream that each of the hills of water represented a person and the reason they were hill shaped is because it was showing that they had become full of faith. They believed in Jesus as the Christ and they were coming to the small hill, which is Mount Zion in the rapture. That's Jesus mountain. His mountain is Mount Zion and it's smaller than Mount Goboa, which is God's mountain, which is where the anointed go. So the girls hearing this rejoiced greatly. And then I remember feeling very smug, like run devil run. We are coming and we are snatching who you think you have. And I was pretty excited about it. So then I woke up from this dream and I was like, well, that was a really cool dream. We're gonna like really bring in a big harvest. Then I was told two Psalms. These Psalms I need to read to you, I was told. And um, then there's going to be more prophecy at the end. Okay. So Psalm 2, 2 to 12. The kings of the earth rise up and the rulers band together against the Lord and against his anointed saying, let us break their chains and throw off their shackles. The one enthroned in heaven laughs. The Lord scoffs at them. He rebukes them in his anger and terrifies them in his wrath saying, I have installed my king on Zion, my holy mountain. I will proclaim the Lord's decree. He said to me, you are my son. Today, I have become your father. Ask me and I will make the nations your inheritance, the ends of the earth your possession. You will break them with a rod of iron and you will dash them to pieces like pottery. Therefore, you kings be wise, be warned. You rulers of the earth, serve the Lord with fear and celebrate his rule with trembling. Kiss his son or he will be angry and your way will lead to your destruction. For his wrath can flare up in a moment. Blessed are all who take refuge in him. And then Psalm 62. Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would all of you throw me down this leaning wall, this tottering fence? Surely they intend to topple me from my lofty place and they delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but with their hearts they curse. Yes, my soul find rest in God. My hope comes from him. Truly, he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times. You people pour out your hearts to him. For God is our refuge. Surely the low born are but a breath and the high born are but a lie. If weighed on a balance, they are nothing. Together, they are only a breath. Do not trust in extortion or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God, and with you, Lord, is unfailing love, and you reward everyone according to what they have done. Okay, so back to the words. In one evening, there will be a mystery. This will begin the events to allow the anointed to leave. When you see the event unseen, know that it begins and prepare to see miracles. Proclaim these to others as miracles. Know that a short time exists from the anointed's miracles to the church's testing. 
Stay in prayer and faith to be shown approved in the testing. Provisions or shame are next. Those focused on me will be leaders and used in the time of sorrows. Those in fear will be found in shame and have losses for they do not trust me. Leaders will minister to all the others and have provisions. Stay ready. We are about to begin the first harvest. Be blessed. Blessings will be bestowed on all in full faith and focus on me. Miracles not seen will be shown. Testify of who provides for you. Share me and my provisions with the world around you in shame. Do not lose hope because of man's dates. Recall I am the author of time. I know the time. The calendars you see are not accurate. They are a decoy. The evil one leads the wicked leaders by a different calendar. I watch and wait for their plans, but I follow the true calendar that has been established since the beginning of time. Focus on me and you will sense when the time nears, but quit guessing. Men have plentiful logic and reasons to support their reasons why this date or that date is when changes occur. Only I hold the truth. Focus on me. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. This is how to live. Be beacons of love, kindness, and joy. Find your strength in me. Drink of my words like water. Pray like the grass grows in summer continuously. The word of the Lord stands forever. Find your safety in me. I will shelter you with my holy and mighty angels. I will give you peace within the chaos. Allow me to carry it. Church, be prepared to stand for me. The harvest needs you to be bold but loving. Darkness invades daily. The number of agents for the evil one increases to levels not seen on the earth. Those to be harvested need to see that a rescue is available. They need to know I have love and can save them. Most will respond to your love. Be bold in love for others. The entire world is about to change. Hold on. Do not fear. Rejoice. Those who are mine, rejoice. For the time to come to see me is soon. Do not lose hope. Hope is assurance in what is not seen. Hope in your salvation, for it is coming. Have joy. Changes are loading, and the time presses on. The time of sorrows approaches. Be bold, church. Be bold in love. Share my salvation with all. Share my love to all. Share my promises. And that's it. I hope that's an encouragement to you, and have a great day.